It's the 19th of February, 2016, and it's 7.03 a.m. because I just randomly woke up early. I did have a really crummy dream before I woke up. It was really bizarre. <laughs> I was playing a game, and a bunch of my friends were there. It was almost like a game night situation, but it was a weird cacophony of different friends that go to it and don't. We were playing a game, and someone beat me. Bad. And instead of the nice mean, you know that joking mean that you are with your friends? Instead, everyone was utter jerks, and real genuine utter jerks in that dream. So it was a horrible dream. No way that that would ever happen in reality, but just, ugh. They gave me some fantastic context of, oh no, my friends are awesome, because they would never be like this. In fact, they're all exactly the opposite, so. Anyways, so the way that I'm starting my day is... I just started the setup for gig because we're recording that this morning. I'm also going ahead and making the going through who matrix. I usually end up making it ahead of time before we need to record just so it's there and ready. Did forget to tell you one thing that I'm doing today because I was so happy about the game night situation that I didn't get to give you a major update. You'll notice when I woke up that I didn't have to work today. Turns out the boss changed his mind, so it happens. But... As a result, my friend that I was going to go with for the initial planning of the coat with the woman, turns out that she's still going there today, so we scheduled it up. Gotta love when scheduling just falls in your lap. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, pretty sweet. One thing about this tape on my arm, like a lot of things that correct a lot of things, it's starting to get that itching, oh my lord, you're not supposed to be there, feeling to it. I'm not scratching at it, though. That would be silly. I am scratching around it, because that's a nice little trick. If you can't scratch the spot, scratch near it. It tends to actually help. That's not nice. The latch in my door right here, the pin, is actually sliding out of the thing, so i got to take a hammer or something and smack that puppy back in place later. Nice view of the mountains this morning with the sun peeking over it. I'm going to, um, that this was the god that had... Or, Basically, they were trying. Gig went pretty well. I love it when episodes go like that. It'll go up later to date, reaching with that arm. Uh, so, yeah. Now, because of the amount of time I have, because I'm leaving at 10, I have to eat some breakfast and get ready to head out. And with that getting ready, I'm actually taking this with me. Because I've stopped wearing it after I had the arm getting thrown out and so She's actually going to keep that thing and use it as a template. It's going to be a main base for the new coat with some adjustments to help out. So in other words, all the stuff I like about that coat and none of the stuff I dislike about that coat. So it'll be nice. And that is more like it temperature-wise. That's what I like to see. So I'm back home. Right now the internet is down, but you can record snaps while there's no internet, so I still get to do this. And then post it later. So we went down to Oak Ridge and went to the Continuous Thread Sewing Studio. There I got to meet Manderley. that's right, you get to know her name now, in person. And I just got paged for a call from Mom, and because I can't check these things because they're not posted yet, I have no idea what I just told you. So that's a thing. So forgive me if I'm repeating myself. Point is, we took the measurements, I picked the outside fabric for the coat. It was fantastic. See, here's the other thing about me recording this. I recorded a few earlier, and the app crashed and deleted all of those. So I don't know what I've told you and what I haven't. So any repeating, forgive me. But also the nice little thing is that all the people working there were clearly Doctor Who fans. Because this coat could be considered cosplay. I'm... I'll, I'll tilt my hand a little bit and say that it's not anything specific, but it is a reference to something. But anyway, they said, do you want this for Dragon Con? And I said, no, I'm actually planning on being Osgood for Dragon Con. And the reaction in the room was beautiful. When you have fellow fans of something in a room and you all connect like that, oh, it's, it's fantastic. 
So afterwards, she ended up joining us for lunch. We hung out. We, we totally get along anyway, so it's it's awesome. And at the moment, I seriously wonder if the net's going to be up on time. We may have to actually call the internet company, because it's looking iffy. So it's now 7.23. Almost time for Tech Slant, and no internet. It's probably down tonight. I just hope the guys figure out what's wrong with me. Because seriously, if there's one thing I hate, it's scheduling something and then not showing up. I hate being unreliable. It's just what I am. And yeah, I've been a teensy bit upset because the internet's down, but... Hopefully tomorrow it'll fix it, and you guys will still see these snaps tomorrow. Hopefully. And if not, it'll still be on the archive for later, or whenever I do have internet to upload them. So, that'll be a thing regardless. So, fair's fair. So yeah, I'm pretty confident the net's gonna be off, at least for the rest of the night. So, doing stuff without the net. That's whenever I realize that, one, I'm glad for all the friends I have in my life. Because now I can't talk to them. <laughs> and two, a lot of the things I do with my spare time involve the internet. Luckily, I've still got podcasts to listen to that should at least help me through the night. But, man...